It's great to be here in Scarborough and tonight is Ford Fest. I raised my family in Toronto and I've worked in every neighborhood across our city. From Rexdale to Scarborough, from Black Creek to Moss Park, from Alderwood to the beaches. All across Toronto, I've met people who were born from different corners of this world, who speak hundreds of different languages, who value community, who work hard and support local businesses, who expect politicians to provide reliable services for their hard-earned tax dollars. These are the folks from Ford Nation. And I'm going to be frank here. I need every single person in Toronto who wants to invest in the police, wants to freeze taxes, wants a focus on public safety, who wants a safer TTC, and who wants to fix congestion to vote for me. This race isn't over, not by a long shot. There are more people in Toronto who do not want Olivia Chow to be mayor than people that do. But the reality is there are too many candidates and we're splitting the vote. I know that there are some members from the Ford Nation that want to vote for Anthony Fury. Listen, I've got a lot of time for Anthony. We both care deeply about this amazing city. He and I align on a lot of things. We both think we need more treatment and addiction services. We both think that we need to invest in our police, not defund them. We both think that City Hall has a spending problem, not a revenue problem. But I'll level with you. Anthony Fury cannot beat Olivia Chow. I can. So I'm asking you that if you're thinking about voting for Anthony Fury to lend me your vote. And I'm also asking the same for the people who are considering voting for Brad Bradford or Mitzi Hunter. We all need to unite behind my campaign to stop Olivia Chow. She will be a disaster as a mayor. She will raise your taxes by 25%. She will defund the police. She will decriminalize drugs. The members of Ford Nation are people who love their communities. They are store owners, truck drivers, nurses, teachers. They are folks that work hard, pay their bills, pay their taxes, and expect a decent level of service from City Hall. They're not asking for the sun and the moon. These are people whose support I am so grateful to have and whose support is going to continue that we will need as we push through the finish line of this election. I want to thank Doug Ford for his support, and I want to thank all the members of Ford Nation who have given thousands of calls and texts and spent thousands of hours on this campaign. I'm going to ask for one thing, to make sure that you tell your friends, family, and neighbors to get out and vote on Monday. I'll repeat that. Make sure you get your friends, family, and neighbors out to vote on Monday. Together we can bring common sense back to City Hall. Together we can stop those pet projects like talking about heated bike lanes and fancy art centers. Together we can invest in the police and social service agencies. But we all need to do it together. We all need to vote together. For me, Mark Saunders, at Saunders with a U, number 84 on the ballot. We can and we will beat Olivia Chow. Saunders is how we will stop Chow. Thank you very much. I'll take questions. Thanks, guys.